Now the first step is to restart a computer. Simply restart a computer once and after the system restart launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then come browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click launch the game from here. If that does not work, you can go to properties once again and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK make a double click launch the game still not working then put a check on disable try windows 7 first and then you can put a check on box which say disable full screen optimization then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working you can uncheck these boxes so when you put a check if it's not working uncheck the boxes hit apply click on ok now follow the next step now this time make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now launch the game and then check still not working then type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this so still not working then you can remove the this from here and follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus then make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security in windows 11 in windows 10 you will have an option update in security so in windows secure uh, go to privacy and security or update in security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection now click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add and allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder steam folder steam apps common open the game folder select all the exe file click on open add an allowed app browse all apps select this exe file browse all apps again you can even select the launcher and now type in control panel and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select all the exe file over here game is added again click on allow another app click on browse this time select this exe file open add again allow another app click on browse select the launcher open add once it is added in my case it is already added once it is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select a product type. For me, it's GeForce Experience. So I'll select GeForce. Now for product series, select your series. So make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and this is game ready driver now click on search and then click on download now once the download is complete uh, run the exe file so click on download once again and once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file over here 
and then click on add in my case it is already added once added click on it select options select high performance now click on save and now launch the game next step is to verify the game file to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you have to install x86 and x64 so click on x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and download this x64 file as well click on it now again run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow make sure both the installation are complete once both are installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have these devices connected disconnect these devices if you have extra controller connected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and then go to general tab turn off the option enable the steam overlay while in game 
also close all the other overlay applications so if you have like overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in gif experience turn it off so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi after burner reward tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it also perform clean boot to perform clean boot uh, type in system configuration in window search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so first of all make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also remove the underworld so if you have underworlded your computer remove the underworld and then check last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder so after you uninstall go to the same path the game installation path delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try installing the game to c drive and then check if already installed to C drive, in that case, you can install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.